In this journal club, we're going to talk about the sagittal angle of the trigeminal nerve as it relates to trigeminal neuralgia. First, you have to understand a few things about microvascular decompression for trigeminal neuralgia. This surgical procedure has an 80% success rate for classical trigeminal neuralgia, but that success rate is better when you can find an offending artery that is compressing the nerve. It's better when the artery is shown to be distorting the nerve radiologically, not just touching it. And these patients do better when they meet the classical criteria for classical trigeminal neuralgia. But some patients who should do well still don't get better, and it's unclear why. Here's a potential biomarker that might explain why some patients don't get better. Uh, this is a steady state free procession sequence. You might call it KISS or Fiesta, depending on the manufacturer. And it is performed natively in the sagittal plane. You can do this measurement with reformatted images, but some of the smaller structures you're looking for may be difficult to appreciate if you don't acquire these in the sagittal plane, which is why at my institution we always do three plane imaging with steady state free procession sequences when we're analyzing these patients. This is an example of a normal sagittal angle of the trigeminal nerve at the porous trigeminus. For reference, here is the root of the trigeminal nerve and its cisternal segment, and the trigeminal nerve comes through the prepontine cistern, runs through the porous trigeminus to go into Meckel's cave. Once it's in there, it sprays out into a network of small rootlets. The angle that we're concerned with here is the angle between the cisternal segment of the trigeminal nerve and the most superior of those rootlets right there. You can imagine that on a reformatted images, it, it, image, it might be difficult to pick out the most superior of those, but that's our target. This is a normal angle of 166 degrees. The average value is 170. Here's what an abnormal sagittal angle of the trigeminal nerve at the porous trigeminus looks like. Here is the cisternal segment of the trigeminal nerve. Here is the porous trigeminus, and this is the most superior rootlet within Meckel's cave. You can see it's a much more acute angle. Two standard deviations from normal is about 150 degrees. Three standard deviations from normal is 135 degrees. Once you get more acute than 135 degrees, like this patient with 120 degrees, you are very likely to fail microvascular decompression. So here's the clinical pertinence of a sagittal angle of the trigeminal nerve. Patients with a hyperacute, that is a smaller value, hyperacute sagittal angle of trigeminal nerve of the porous trigeminus do worse surgically, especially if you don't find an offending nerve to perform the microvascular decompression on. The success rate falls from that 80% I mentioned earlier down to 29% in these patients with a, with, who are three standard deviations below average on their uh, sagittal angle. This is admittedly a rare finding. Only some 17% of patients with uh, classical trigeminal neuralgia will have this finding, but if you can see it and if you can identify patients with a hyperacute sagittal angle in combination with a lack of offending artery, you may be able to predict patients who will not benefit from this surgery and may need a different type of surgery.